Alright, here you going guys. Just thought I'd make a video of a little uh, coax tester which I've built. Uh, it'll test for uh, shorts in your coax and if you've got multiple runs going out somewhere you can uh, put the, the main part on one end and uh, then run, go out and test all your other bits. All Say you've got five runs of coax, you can go from one to the other until you find the right one. Uh, makes it a lot easier and it's very easy to build. Alright, so this is it. Okay, we've got a SO239 here. It's just a panel mount. I've put it on a uh, switch plate. Makes it prettier. I had it, all I, I had it hanging around. Right? I didn't go out and buy anything. Um, I had this box as well. There's a switch, which I didn't really need to put the switch on there, but I did just for the hell of it. Because it's me. I've got cat hair everywhere. Um, and there's an LED. Okay, the bottom's off the box at the moment, so all we've got is a nine volt, ooh, nine volt battery, an LED up there, a switch, and inside, where are we? Inside there, there's a uh, there's a resistor, just to get the right voltage for the LED, so you don't blow it up. Okay, so. Here's the uh, here's the diagram. Just hacked together a quick diagram. So which hands which? There's the battery. Goes up through a switch, through the resistor to the diode. Sorry, to the LED, which is a diode, a light emitting diode. Okay, and then to the SO239 connector. So what I've done, you can do it either way, but I've put the one co the lead coming from the LED, I've put it to the centre of the SO239, and the other lead, going the wrong way, aren't I? The other lead goes to the outer of the SO239. Now, to do that, I found it was easier to come through that black thing there, that's a wire coming from the inside, and it just screws down under the screw of the uh, uh, SO239 so that's that now on the other end you can make another box up and uh, you can put a uh, another SO239 on that and it just had to be shorted out inside or what I did got a PL259 look at all this cat hair I wonder why <laughs> um, got a PL259 and I've just stripped it back. Um, I should have taken the tape off, but you get that. You'll get the idea. The uh, I've got the centre stripped all the way back up here, and then I've got the braid stripped back and shorted out to the centre, and just um, soldered it all up. Took a bit of solder, but I got it done, and then just taped it up. Okay. So what you can do is. If I get a bit of coax from over here, here's my RG213 fly lead. Okay, two ends, just say so one's out the other end near the tower and one end's inside. What you can do, you plug one end into the box. Now, the other end's still open, right? If I flick the switch and the light comes on, that means there's a short in the coax no light. Okay, so I'll leave the switch on and then I'll put my double-ended SO239 on. Can you see the LED? And then I put my short on the end. There's the LED. Okay, so that's your run of coax. And because it didn't, the light didn't come on like that, there's no short. There it is. Okay, turn it off. Obviously it goes off. Turn it on. Turn it off. Easy as. So, very easy little project to build. Um, it's actually a good project for, say, you just got into radios. If you're an F call, um, or even a CBR, you know, you need this sort of stuff. You're going out on a field day. You're setting up a few, few hundred antennas for a, for a field day, as we do. Um, 
very easy project. That 9 volt battery will last forever. Not ever, but you know. Just the only thing you have to make sure is that resistor in there, you can't see because it it's inside some heat shrink, that resistor is the right value. If I can get the light, there we go. In there. That resistor is, has to be the right value f for the voltage from there uh, to the LED. Otherwise, you'll pop your LED. Um, but that's it, guys. Pretty easy. All right. Take it easy, and uh, hopefully uh, catch you down the track. 73s.